750, so 48 divided by 750, which equals 0 0.064. Is that my percent? And then to change it to a percent, I need to take 0 0.064 times 100 to get 6.4%. Now I should warn you about something here. One, do not write percent symbol in your answer. It messes my work up. Two, this was a nice number. This is the actual number that that came out to be. Chances are yours are going to have a lot more decimal places over here. WebWork expects you to have three to four decimal places to the right of the answer. So if you try and round correctly, if it says no, that's not right, add another decimal place and see if that's all it takes to fix it. Because often that's the most common thing. It says it's not right, but I'm sure I did everything right by going and looking. All it needs is one more spot. Now round it again. Class ends at quarter after. I've got five more minutes to do this piece. You ready? This is a short piece. Decks of cards. What? Uh, yeah, actually I did. I scanned the deck of cards. You did? Yes, I did. There's a reason. I could not find a good one that I could see all of the pieces of. Usually you start losing some of them when they spread them out and stuff. So you can see absolutely every card here, all 52 of them. Those of you who may not be all that familiar with cards, this picture is available for you online. From the, you can download it you know, and print it out and use it so that you don't have to A, go buy a deck of cards. B, this picture will be printed on your test whenever there are questions that are being asked about a deck of cards. Because some of you may have grown up knowing everything there is about cards because you've played with them all your lives. But other people don't. And so questions about cards, throw them because they don't know what they're talking about. The red cards are hearts and diamonds. By the way, I do tell you whether they're red or black when I print them on the test because it's a black and white printer so it doesn't come out in color. The black cards are the clubs and the spades. Each one of these suits, there are 13 cards in it. Each type of card, an ace for instance, there are four of them. And I don't know what else you need to know right now. When we get to talking about highs and lows, we'll tell you whether aces are high or low. Yes. Okay, you were going to ask me that? So right now it's not relevant. But we can ask you questions of like the following. How many cards in a deck of four, an ordinary deck of 52 are clubs or twos? Now, at this point, you could probably count them all. But you can also use your formula. The or is that formula, the cardinal number formula for the union of sets. So you can use your formula to do this. And it would tell you there are how many how many in there. So let's see if there are how many clubs. There are 13 clubs. How many twos are there? Four twos. Did I count anything twice? Yes, I counted the two of clubs, so I'd have to subtract it off. That's what that formula tells me to do. Count the 13 clubs, the four twos, and then subtract off the one that I counted twice. Now, what happens if I give you a problem that's like, I hope this is my hand. No. Nope. No. Nope. This one. Determine how many cards are in, order, in an ordinary deck of cards are threes and sixes. Eight is the standard incorrect answer. <laughs> Just think about what I said every time I said and. I said threes and also sixes. How many cards qualify as being this and this at the same time? And is at the same time. So in this case, there's none of them. Many of the and questions, you can just look up there and go, oh, you know, the king of hearts is the king and a heart. There's only one of those. But threes and sixes, there's nothing that does both of those at the same time. So you want to read carefully the hands. You can usually count or not because there aren't any. 
And the ors, you can always use your formula. And I'll see you on Thursday.